Does that mean you ease into it, or do you go right to team drills yeah, today? It's they don't ease me into it. I probably do a little bit just individually. Oh. Like that today. Will you be in team drills by the end of the week? Do you think? Or? Um, that's the, that's on me. I'm just doing as much as I'm able to. You have a goal for which game you want to get into? September 11th. That's the only game we're really worried about. Uh, if they let me get in any preseason, I mean, that would be sweet, but my man goes to us getting back by September 11th. Joe, how much of this is? since March, mm -hmm. and, and even in minicamp. So is this a surprise that you're going to be able to practice extensively before September 11th? Uh, no. I mean, this is all, I mean, just the, just the work that we've been putting in, um, everything's just been going going pretty good. So uh, this is just another part of the process. But you were reluctant to say, I'll be practicing before the end of summer. Yeah, I didn't. You know, I didn't want to put myself in the bind. You know, I was working to get back as soon as possible. So whenever that happened, I was ready for it. Joe, how much of this is precaution and taking it easy and not rushing it back more so than if you had to play, you could or could not? Uh, I think they're doing a really good job of just um, taking the time. You know, um, I think a lot of it is precaution. Just making sure that they know that there's no rush right now to get back. But... Just trying to get back as soon as possible, and whenever, whenever I'm ready, like full percent to be able to go, then they'll put me back in there. How much, how much Joe, do you think not being able to play in the preseason last year because of that hamstring hampered you? Um, not, not too much at all. I felt like I was out there, I was ready to go. Uh, it just was unfortunate that I mean, it wasn't performing that well. I don't really think that too much to do with that at all. The first time you talked to us in training camp, you said nobody wants to be out there more than me, and that includes Josh Gordon, who's a close second. Um, watching those offensive guys perform all week, I mean, is that ratcheted up a little on you to be part of it? I'm excited, man. I'm super excited. I mean, that's the offense being able to throw the ball like that, being able to just. Look, look like a really, really good offense, you know what I mean? That's exciting for me, and it's exciting to want to be able to go out there and uh, get them a little more competition. You know, they've been doing it. They've been throwing that thing over our heads a couple of times. So, you know, I definitely want to rush back and uh, just to see, to see how they'll do, do against me. Joe, are you uh, looking forward to getting your hands on uh, Corey Coleman and kind of teaching him a, a few things about about this game? Oh, yeah, man. You know, I, I really like Corey. He's super talented, able to make a lot of plays. So, you know, just it's iron sharpens iron, being able to go against him, being able to see the, the strides his TP's made, you know, when Josh gets back. Just being able to go against our receiving court and just, you know what I'm saying, if they can beat me, I feel like they can beat a lot of teams. Joe, uh, what's your reaction to RG3 being named the starter officially today? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's exciting too. Man. He's, he's worked his tail off. He's been doing everything. He's not done anything wrong, you know. He's been a really good leader. He's been working. He's in control of the offense, you know, and uh, I'm just glad Coach Hugh feels like that. The team will be behind him, and, uh, you know, I think that he can he can make us, he can do what he needs to do to make us successful. So how excited are you to get back into Ray Horton's team defense? I'm super excited, you know, just being able to sit in all the meetings, you know, just re-going over it. Uh, it, it kind of it clicked back as soon as he started telling me it's no difference of, of calls or anything like that. So, I mean, I know all the calls, know the checks, so and I'm just waiting for there, man. Yeah, it's all, oh, all the buzz has been about the offense in this camp mm -hmm. in the first 10 days. Um, defense is kind of under radar right now. What do you see? What are your hopes? Uh, is there a lot of work to be done? What's going it's, on? There's some work to be done, and uh, a lot of the things, too. You know, we can get back to the quarterback, and uh, you're not supposed to touch him, so you got to stay away from him. So a lot of the things that we see, you know, we think we would be able to get to the quarterback on uh, quite a few of those plays. But it's just really good competition, just being able for him to be able to move the ball like that and uh, just, just being precise and making sure they've been executing at a high level. That's, that's, really, that's really something good to see. You know, knowing that they're knocking back, just being able to have a full secondary and uh, start to make those calls, make those checks. I don't, I don't think that we're too far behind, but we step in the other guys and catch up with the offense. Joe, what kind of development have you seen from RG3 since he first showed up in those spring practices to now both on the field and then in kind of getting the team to rally around him? I'd say with getting the team to rally around him, he's been the same guy the whole time ever since he got here. He hasn't changed. I would just say on the football field, just look, looking and feeling more comfortable, looking like he knows where he wants to go with the ball. And uh, he throws up one of the prettiest deep balls I've seen. You know, he throws a catchable ball. And uh, he just seems a lot more comfortable and a lot more like, this is his offense. He understands what's going on. But as far as a person, he's been the same dude ever since he stepped in. Joe, Joe even, at, even at your best, guys like Antonio Brown, the smaller guys are the ones that pose the 
more difficult challenge to you, it's safe, in your career rather than those big guys, mm -hmm. right? Is that, am I right about that? Oh. So what is it about Coleman that you see that makes him uh, so dynamic even though he's not the 6'4", Josh Gordon type receiver? I mean, you're just a uh, very, very athletic, quick, fast, you know, catch the ball, you have a very big catch radius, and uh, the quarterback believes in him. Um, I think a lot of things were like Antonio Brown, uh, you know, like Emmanuel Sanders, those dudes that are smaller, quicker, they run precise routes, and their catch radius is, is big, you know what I'm saying? So I think the bigger dudes, they're not as quick, not as elusive, they can't really get off the line. It's so much easier to put hands on those dudes. So as the quicker dudes, if you miss them, you know, you're chasing them. So the bigger guys, just a bigger frame, touching, touching. You've gone through so many quarterbacks since you've been here. Mm -hmm. Does it feel, does it feel any different with RG three because he's still young, but he's had success in this league? Yeah, I mean, it, it feels different. Um, I think honestly, too, just having Coach you and um, being over, being over on the offensive side of the ball, they had just have a relationship and a bond, and it just look like Coach, he he's he's coaching them up at all times. He's doing a really good job of just making sure that they understand every little detail. And uh, I think that the, the, the biggest thing is coach helping them help, help them out, out the quarterbacks. Joe, there's been so much change and turmoil here since you were drafted in 10 and even before you got here. The reviews on Hugh, at least the earlier reviews, are just overwhelmingly positive. Mm -hmm. As someone who's been through and observed a lot of stuff here, what is it that you're seeing from Hugh that really has not only brought you, but some of the other veterans full circle and really buying into what he wants to do so quickly. Uh, you know, you just feel like you hear the same story over and over again but with Coach Hugh. Um, you don't, you don't feel like alone. You feel like he really believes in everything that he's telling you. Um, you believe in his staff and the way that he coaches you up. I mean, he's able to just lean on to anyone. As far as me, Joe Thomas, uh, Paul Kruger, he's able to coach up the, the veteran guys and in a way of not just, in order he wants the best out of you. He wants you to give him his all. So, you know, once you have the leadership all the way bought in, it's so much easier to do it from top down. So I feel like he's just doing a great job of just changing up the changing up the morale, just making sure everybody wants to. The one thing is always says, my well, one thing is winning, my uh, one goal is winning. And just keep 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 pushing that into everybody's heads. And I feel like everybody's just really bought in. Hey Joe, you know, 